Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Chris here. So today I thought we'd check out Pulse and Those Roots. So in today's episode of Creative Musical Ideas, I wanted to talk about pulsing roots. What do I mean by pulsing roots? Well, this. Okay, so to get into this, I've just got a blank Ableton session opened up. Just quickly put in a bit of music to see how we can play with this idea. So fantastic. So basically the idea is that we get the root note of the song we're playing in. In this case I'm playing in F major. In this case we're playing in F major. So I'm just pressing that F and I'm just rocking the hell out of that F. <laughs> so again you can take this idea and you can try it on different instruments. So let's get the guitar. So sweet, you know, you can do this with a guitar, I've just added a bit of delay to help kind of drag out that note. These are more kind of plucky methods that I'm using, so let me just try hold down a fat, you know, pad sound or something and just let that ring out and see what we got. So that clearly might be a bit stale, just kind of doing its own thing. So why not modulate it? Why not give it a bit of movement? First thing I would consider is adding a filter. I do love a little bit of filter movement action. So if I get this filter here, I can use this amount. But for the sake of actually showing off what it is going to do, I'll use this. And this will make it a lot easier to see what's going on. So I'll just map this to that. So as you can see... If I was using this amount section, I'd be doing the same thing, but you can't see it visually, so I am just going to slow down the rate of this. This is far too fast. Nice, and you can just see it close and open. Um, the amount it's doing it is quite large, so I kind of want to restrict that and bring it a bit closer. So if I bring this 0% up, so let's say between 50% and well, maybe even more, 40 and 70, something like that. So as you can see, the filter slowly closes and opens. So let's hear what it's doing. So a little bit of movement, you could maybe add a chorus or something on top of that to give it a little bit more. Even say adding a distortion before the filter just to give it more of that goodness.
Sweet, so you know, we can do this kind of plucked, we can do this held, works great. I think one thing that's important to consider is also where you decide to place the note. So if you're doing like a kind of repetitive pulse, do you want it on the one, do you want it on the end? Do you want it every quarter note, every eighth note, every beat? Like how often, you know, what type of groove do you want it to provide? So I'm going to try a quick like arpeggiated synth and see what that sounds like underneath all of this. Sweet, so it holds a nice little bit of ground, kind of keeping that pulse going. Usually with these types of things, I like to, again, stick them in the back as usual, filter them out, add a bit of movement through some kind of modulation of what, whatever that may be. You know, you can be quite creative with this idea, whether that's picking out any type of random instrument, adding loads of effects, you know, even just where you decide to place the note, how often all of this stuff, you can go really deep into it. Again, this is just a basic kind of introduction to how I like to use this idea. Feel free to let me know in the comments how you would use it. And once again, thank you guys for watching. I've been Chris Fella, and I'll catch you on the next one.